back to my channel or if you guys are new here hello I'm Keaton so clearly I'm getting ready this morning I'm in the bathroom I'm about to braid my like little front pieces I have right here because it is spring day so if you guys are new here actually this would be for anyone who like isn't even new here because I never like celebrate the seasons um but Nat and her friend Brooke and Alethea, they always like celebrate the season. So like they'll do a fall day, a spring day, a summer day, and like just celebrate. And it's really cute. And so we're going to go to like see flowers today, I think. And then we're going to like paint some candles. I'll show you guys. We like found a bunch of stuff off TikTok and Pinterest that we're going to do. So I'm getting dressed for that because I'm going to go to their house and we're going to get donuts and then... We're gonna have spring day today, which is like literally gonna be so much fun. So I'm trying to fix my hair right now. I'm running so behind. This little set is from Princess Polly. I need to change this necklace. And I don't know if I wanna wear the skirt. Like I wanted to wear it as a set, but I don't know. I think things will just be cuter once I have my hair and my makeup done. I am using a new camera, by the way. So if I'm going in and out of focus, if it doesn't look the same quality and it's janky, um, it's not a new camera. I didn't buy a new camera. I actually have this one as a spare. Um, and thank God I did because a couple weeks ago, I went to the Taylor Swift concert. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this. I was vlogging the entire weekend in Texas and vlogged the whole concert, filmed to get ready with me with my sisters. Yeah, which I have not done. And uh, my camera got stolen. So I was really, really bummed about that. It's also like especially discouraging for me. Sorry, I'm like trying to get this rubber band. It's extra discouraging for me because you guys know like I don't upload as much here on YouTube anymore. So like whenever I'm vlogging or whenever I like choose to record a trip or like I'm really excited about editing it, like that's like that's good for me because I don't have that all the time. Like I haven't had that consistently for a while. I haven't been like over the moon like oh my god I can't wait to upload this oh my god like that's why my content has been less and so for me to be so excited about a vlog and so excited to like share it and then of course it gets stolen and I lose all the footage um yeah that was really such a bummer so I have this backup camera that I'm using right now and it's a little bit janky so if it looks rougher than my other one that's that's why i'm trying to hurry but i think i'm failing also like two days ago my tooth gem fell off so you can see i don't know if you can even see here but there's a little like silver dot as to where the back of it was glued onto my tooth so i must have swallowed the tooth gem at some point because i just literally was eating and then um yeah i looked in the mirror and it was gone completely so i'm not sure at what point i swallowed my tooth gem but it's in my digestion somewhere and now i have to go to the freaking dentist and get the glue off of it which that's like the only part of tooth gems i didn't realize like i don't know if i want to go to the dentist <laughs> it gets probably normal for people to go to the dentist but like i don't like, i don't want to go to the dentist because I went to the dentist the last time I went was two years ago and which is really bad trust me I know uh, last time I went to the dentist was probably two years ago and I haven't gone back because when I went they told me that I needed four four root canals and I was like wait actually what do you mean and they were like yeah you gotta get four root canals so while I was there, I obviously couldn't run. So they did one on me. They did one root canal on me. And then they um, pulled my wis my back wisdom tooth because I let my wisdom teeth grow in. And then they were like, okay, well, we'll just book your next appointments. You know, just come back next time you're in Texas because I go when I'm home in Texas to my dentist that I've always gone to. And they're like, we'll just book your appointment when you get back in town. I ain't never booking that appointment ever again, sweetie. That was two years ago. If you told me... I needed four root canals. You think I'm gonna come back here and book my appointments? You're wrong. You're so wrong. So I haven't gone back. And so Destiny the other day, I was like, what do I do with this tooth gem? She was like, oh, you have to go to the dentist. They have to like scrape it off. I was like, Destiny, you don't understand. I can't go to the dentist because the second I go to the dentist, they're gonna tell me. They're gonna tell me that. Um, 
I have to get my root canals done, which I'm dreading, but I know I have to, I need to do that anyway. I'm doing my makeup different. As you can see, I'm doing like the underpainting thing. I've been doing this recently, so I did all my concealer. Now I'm gonna do this cream contour and I do it like so heavy and it looks so spooky until you put the foundation on top and then it's actually like cute. Um, Look at how much of this bronzer I have left, you guys. This is so, so sad because I need to get another one. It's this Rare Beauty Cream Contour. It's the best, I'm sorry, like it's the best cream contour. I use the Nude Sticks one. I've been using it because I've been running so low on that. And that one's good too, but this one is just really creamy. Like it just is the best. Um, I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury Matte Blush. And this is so red, you guys. Like it's so red. Like my Beauty Blender, every time I use it, it looks like a clown and I used to do it like I've done it a couple times on top of my foundation because I'm like oh it's just like the other one no this is like so red so I have to do it under now I was just listening to um, a Vanderpump Rules podcast because this season is getting so crazy all of the drama is absolutely nuts and i'm living for it like if you're not watching vanderpump rules and you've been seeing all this stuff going around i promise you i promise you you should start the season because it's wild also for foundation today i'm gonna use this i've been using this actually this is the say beauty um glowy super skin foundation i'm using the shade eight it's very liquidy um so i do like one pump and then i just like lightly go over the top of all of that makeup that I just did but I do it really light that way you can obviously still get some of that like contour highlight like look but I really really like this it's so it's so glowy I'm really into the underpainting like you can see I it's not obviously as harsh but it's like the most subtle glowy like contour and like you can see a little bit of blush under there my camera's blinking at me and it says the battery needs to charge and since i want to take you guys with me today i'm gonna turn this off and i'm gonna go charge it i don't know what the lighting looks like right here because my old camera i could put the viewfinder out a tiny tiny bit so i could make sure that this looks normal but with this one i can't so hope it's good uh i'm in the car i'm actually in a little bit of traffic i'm on my way over to alethea's right now we're gonna meet at alethea's that way we can like all ride together and then we're gonna go and go to sidecar donuts which if you guys watched nat's birthday vlog we went there and it was my first time going there and they have the best donuts ever you guys like they're like actually insane donuts and i am not a donut person like the only donuts i maybe like is krispy kreme and i have to really be in the mood for that i'm not a huge donut person but these are fire um so yeah i'm on my way to alethea's right now i obviously finished my hair and makeup i really like it we've picked up the ladies and we're going it's to spring day it's spring day spring day and obviously me and alethea are matching because we're soul sisters <laughs> we're twin flames um so now we're going to get donuts look at these donuts you guys can we get an old fashioned yeah. insane. Insane. insane? We're here at the Super Bloom, you guys. There's so many flowers. It's actually stunning. Like, look at the water. Park my brother. Perfect. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey, y'all. This camera is so bad. Like, there's something in the lens. It's just a little. Uh, uh, it looks like there's a I'm lip lock back. I'm so sad that What's my. Up? I'm Keaton and I'm vlogging with the microwave. Literally. I'm so mad. My other it's good really, camera is really sad and mean. Stolen. So rude. Anyway, uh, we obviously went and saw the flowers and we changed and now we're cozy and we're gonna go pick up some candles to do this cute little like candle making thing. I'll it's show you guys when we do so it, but sad. it'll be really cute. So we're looking around right now. So okay, so we go. found these. These are the colors we've got to work with for our beautiful... We could get just an arts and crafts. Like a th Alicia? Hey, Brooke, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear Brooke? No, what, what color are you trying to make with green and orange? Brown. <laughs> Keep it caca. Keep it caca. We're making. Tell us what's on the menu. Onion tarts. Mm. Which is olive oil, bars, balsamic glaze, maple syrup, and onion, thyme, salt and pepper under there. And then we ad libbed and added the cheese. Cheese, but it's the red wine Syrah soaked cheese from Trader Joe's. 
It's that's like really fire. <laughs> get a lid again. <laughs> and then you put puff pastry on top because it's gonna be delicious. Delish. Except keep it. No, they're making no they're making me one okay. with no onion. Yeah. yeah. I don't need Come onion. On. I don't need onion. That's so that's scale. that with onion. And it looks that gorgeous. looks so good, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> that looks so good. Okay, this is what we're doing with the candles. Although it's not the most, <laughs> the way you're lighting that on fire. Burn! And like it's in a plastic container. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we're about to decorate these little candles. You basically just light these little colors and you dip a paintbrush in there and paint the wax onto here so it looks decorative and when it melts, it's really cute. So that's what we're gonna do. I need to find some inspo on Pinterest though. Handle haul, candle check. Uh, this is Natty's, it's little lemons and they look so cute. I stole my key in. Yeah, you know, it's okay. She stole my lemon idea, but I did little hearts, which I think is really cute. It's just basic. Brooks is really good. Give me like a spin around when you can. Hold on, let's focus it. <gasps> Very stunning. I love I her. Alethea's is very cute. She's got these little green flowers and they look really cute. And then also we just made pastries. I say we, I didn't make them. Alethea and them made them. The pastries, oh my God. Uh, they already ate their onions. Welcome. Hi. Oh wow. Oh, the men have arrived. It's just one though. Just Brandon. Oh. Everybody else is gonna, we just finished, so everybody's gonna go home and shower. I was like, it would take me an hour to get here. Yeah. So do you stink? I don't know, cups Let me sniff you. <laughs> no, you just smell good. <laughs> yes. I don't know if I've ever done this in my life, like tried to even do this. You've never done that ever? Not to myself, just with a partner. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, me and Nat are on pizza duty. Nat's claiming her 0.04% Italian. Pretty oh. sick. Yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> <gasps> Don't tell me you're eating that. The There's no way. There's no way. I used pizza dough when I was younger. I've Remember? never eaten, no, I don't. I don't. I double the water, is that James, I don't know what's going on. I'm freaked out by that. <laughs> Right. Look at what Keaton made, and it matches your shirt. Artichokes. For what all. else? Artichokes, mozzarella, ricotta, pesto, parm. That's it. Good job. Pasta, pizza. Look how delicious. Alethea made. What is this? Almond honey. Yeah. It's almond honey cake. Really good. So good. Insane. We've got vanilla ice cream that we're gonna put on top. It's nice and warm. It's gonna be so good. Hi guys, welcome back. It's the next day. Actually, I think it's like two days later, but I wonder if you can guess where I'm going. Um, I'm going to Disneyland today. Uh, I'm super excited. I'm gonna go to Disney with Hallie. It's literally just a random Tuesday, I'm going for a couple reasons. One, I haven't been to Disney um, in a while, and when I moved here, I was going so much right when I moved here because I love going to Disney. I think it's so fun. I don't really care what anyone says. And I bought an annual pass because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go all the time. It's like so close. And turns out, I really have not used my annual pass. So I was like, I really need to get uh, use out of this so I'm trying to like do that so that I can like feel validated for the fact that I Bought an annual pass and also I'm gonna go home this weekend for Beckham's birthday party And it is Star Wars themed and I have to pick up a couple things like at Disneyland For his actual birthday, so I am also going for that, but I'm doing my hair right now I know I look like a little child I've got two pigtails. I feel like once I have my makeup on, I'll feel better about how I look. Also, I got this little sweatshirt. It's a vintage Disney sweatshirt. I don't know where from, but I got it at the Trading Post, so I just thrifted it, which is where I get all my Disney stuff. It's all thrifted because the best Disney merch is thrifted. 
I need everyone to watch it because the only person I had to talk to about it was Natasha. I was literally texting her last night. We were sending voice memos to each other crying. Like it was so distressing to watch. So I just need other people to get with the program. I'm not gonna do my full makeup routine with you guys because you guys literally just saw this because <laughs> I just did it the same exact way the other day. But I am letting you guys know I'm going to Disney and I'm getting ready. I'll show you guys how my hair looks after I figure out how to situate it and a full outfit of the day, even though I'm literally just wearing the sweatshirt. It's really cloudy today. Also, props to me for feeling like I can wear white jeans while I'm on my cycle. I don't know who I think I am or what I think I'm doing, but I'm just feeling like risky, you know? I'm feeling like taking on the world today. I finished my makeup and my hair. I decided to not do the little like pigtail bun things just because it wasn't looking right. And I honestly, I couldn't part my hair in the back down the middle, so it just looked so not cute. So I just did a bun, this is the back of it, and I tied a bow into my hair, which I think is so cute. But I really wanted to wear hoops today, so I'm like deciding right now if I should scratch the bow and then just do the hoops or scratch the hoops and just do the bow because I kind of feel like maybe both is a lot. It might not matter because who really cares? Like it's, it's not that serious, but oh my god, I have red into my teeth. Why didn't you guys tell me? Uh, yeah, and I just did a little red lip because I thought it's fun. I never do a red lip I really don't ever do like dark Or colored lipstick. So I think this is really cute. I'm at Disney with Hallie And we just got uh, We got chicken sandwiches <laughs> We just waited so long for these so if they taste terrible, I'm gonna cry but they're honey spice chicken sandwiches I also got beignets, which I'm so excited about a coke Ranch. I need to get your reaction of the chicken salad actually. Or chicken salad. <laughs> chicken sandwich. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay, you guys. I am leaving Disney. It was such a cute and fun day. It was like the most casual thing ever but that's like what having an annual pass is for like I like that I can just come whenever I want and like spend like a couple hours there and then go home and like just hang out with Hallie and chill I don't know I just love like getting to catch up with her and hang out we literally uh, got here at 2 and it's 6 o'clock 6 30 right now we got here at like 2 30 um 2 45 actually so literally just a couple hours at disney we ate some food we only rode one ride which is like basically what i wanted to do because like i just don't feel i just didn't feel like riding and like waiting in any lines today that wasn't my vibe it was more so like let's just walk around disney and like try a bunch of food and <laughs> see the vibe and then get out of there and that's exactly what we did we tried the most disgusting drinks today but i was trying to go to like food places that i don't normally go to so me and hallie were like branching out and then i was like you know what this is why i don't branch out because it was so nasty i got the worst coffee ever hallie got the worst tea ever it was not our vibe so uh yeah that was pretty much our day we only rode like the little mickey ride but it was fun and now i'm headed home i'm gonna be home by 7 30 which is nice because i wasn't sure how long we were gonna stay so i was expecting to be home later and i'm really glad i'm going home sooner i can't wait to go see brandon like literally you guys i'm so annoying like i know this but i am away from Brandon for like only a couple hours and I'm sad and I miss him and I just want to hang out with him and that's literally just how I am like I can't help it I miss him all the time and so I'm really excited to go home and hang out with him and watch a movie and eat dinner hi guys um, it's actually the next day I'm not sure what the last clip was because I've been really bad at this but I have some mail. Uh, I just went and checked mail and I have so much of it. So I figured I would just like unbox it on camera because I have no idea what's in here, but we're gonna see. Just a little unboxing. This first package I have is from Garnier and it's pretty large. Oh my God. Oh my God, no way. Okay, it's all over the place. It got all mixed up in the mail. This is Garnier Fructis. These are the Sleek and Shine Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. Brandon 
is going to love these. Like where he literally just ran out of shampoo and conditioner. So he's gonna be so excited. This is a anti-frizz serum. Maybe I should try this because I actually have to go wash my hair. Maybe I should put this in my hair after. So that way it like looks smooth when I blow dry it. And then there's a sleek and shine 10 in one plus plant keratin multitasking leave-in. This is a leave-in conditioner. I will also try that because I love a good leave-in conditioner. They sent me a Sonos speaker. This is literally sick. Like this is so nice of them. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Garnier. The next package I have is also huge and I have no idea what brand this is from. Oh, duh, I could have flipped it around. <laughs> it says Nordstrom Beauty. Okay, perfect. Wait, <gasps> no, actually, actually, no way. I just opened this up. All right, I'm gonna open everything in here because I'm just that excited. So the first product I have from here is from the brand Eighth Day. I've actually never heard of them. It's a peptide rich plasma, it's skincare, okay. Oh my god, this is like one of those brands that like I just know I'm gonna use it. It's probably gonna change my life and then I'm gonna go on the website. It's probably gonna be so expensive. I'm gonna link all of this stuff that I got just because like in case you guys want to try it out. This is a reparative moisturizer. So both of these products are from 8th Day. The packaging is really sleek. <gasps> like, look at this moisturizer. This is very nice. I'm very excited to try this out. You guys know I'm like such a hoe for good skincare. This is gonna be so good. We have Gucci Beauty. I actually have this bronzer. I think this is the bronzer. And I think I have this shade too. Yeah, I love this bronzer. This is such a good one. It's a really dark bronzer. Like I can't use this right now because I don't have a uh, tan right now, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I really like this Gucci bronzer. Oh, this is called the Pore Professional. It is a pore clearing clay mask. It's from Benefit. I've actually never used this, but I've heard of this. Next up, this is a lip conditioner. This is from the brand Our Self. I've never heard of this. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Blush. I have that shade and I really love it. Oh my God, is this a fragrance? <gasps> this, wait, stop. This is the By Far Fragrance. This is so cute. This is like the fragrance from By Far that you can put as a keychain. You can like attach it to your clothes and stuff. I wanna smell it though. I have a perfume on right now, so I'm gonna just like. Ooh, I like that. Also, this packaging is really sick. Dr. Barbara Sturm skincare. This is really, really nice skincare. This is the super anti aging body serum. I love body serums. Like I always use an oil or a serum when I get out of the shower and then I'll do a lotion on top of this. Oh my gosh. We have some sunscreen. We also have another moisturizer in here and then another one. So we have like a lot of skincare in here and then we also have this rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil. I've seen this all over TikTok. Like people always use this in their hair. Maybe I'll try it today. Today is gonna be my hair wash day. So maybe I'll try this because I feel like this would like really help my hair. It says you're supposed to section your hair into four parts and then you put it all into the scalp and then you leave it in and style as desired. So you can do this like after you get out of the shower and it's supposed to help hair growth, I think. Wow, thank you so much Nordstrom Beauty. This is like one of the nicest gifts I've ever got. I'm so excited because I've never tried a lot of these brands. So this is really good to try out. What else do we got? I'm sweating in this sweater because I literally have the worst heat flashes. <laughs> Whatever, I'm on my beard. Like I, I like break out in hives. Like I can't do it. Okay, this is from Too Faced. Oh, okay. Oh my god, yes, I needed this. I really needed a face primer, and they also sent a setting spray. I'm out of setting spray, and they sent their mascara, which I love. I've used like every single Too Faced product at this point, so whenever they restock me, I'm very excited. Okay, I don't know who this is from, but it has a little star. <gasps> Wait, I think this is Charlie D'Amelio's. Yeah, it says Born Dreamer by Charlie D'Amelio. Wait, this is so cute. Wait, how do I open it up? Oh my God, this packaging is so freaking cute. I actually really like the packaging of this perfume. I've never smelled this before. Oh, and it has a little refill. That's really cute. How do I get it out of this case? I wanna smell this. I am so lucky <laughs> that this did not just shatter, at least now we know. It is, in fact, 
Um, shatterproof. Thank you very much. Okay, let's spray it. <laughs> Holy crap, I sprayed way too much. That smells great. That smells really great. Like, I'm not just kidding. I would, I would wear this. Like, this is really good. <gasps> I like this. I wonder what, like, the notes of this fragrance are. Sparkling pear, floral, jasmine, and warm cashmere woods. I really like the scent of this. Like, this is very good. Thank you, Charlie. All right, the last thing I have in the mail is actually something that I ordered. I ordered this from Lioness a couple weeks ago. I've been worried that it's gonna be too big, but I think this is just right. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Look at this. It's just like a distressed looking bomber. It's really cute and it's got like the little like leather. You guys know I have the black leather jacket that I always wear, but I feel like because I always wear the black one over everything, I was like, I feel like I need to like get another version of that one but uh, in brown, so that's what I got. I really like this. Also, Beckham's Star Wars party is this weekend, and I feel like this jacket is definitely giving Star Wars. Like, I can wear this with like a, you know, a little tank top underneath it, and it's like so cute. Like, this is very cute. This is pretty thin. Like, my other one is like really nice leather and like very thick. This one's pretty thin. I will say that like, you could layer underneath this really nice. This is so cute. This is definitely giving Star Wars, so I'm packing this. Okay, I just showered and I washed and blow dried my hair, but I'm actually a dummy because I wanted to try that rosemary whatever oil. Oh, my lens cap is all messed up. And I didn't realize I had to wash it out. So like it's more like a hair mask and you guys are probably like, yeah, cute and you've not seen it. But I put it all in the like front of my hair because that's like where I want some growth and I put it down my scalp. And now I have like oily roots right in the front and I just washed my hair and used my air wrap and like blew out my hair, but now I have oily roots, which like completely defeats the purpose of me just going and washing my hair. So that's really annoying. But anyway, um, I'm going to Texas tomorrow because it's my nephew's birthday and it's Mother's Day. And I figured I would do like a little pack with me kind of show you guys the makeup I'm bringing. Um, just because I feel like I haven't done one of these and I have to pack right now. So that's what we're going to do. This makeup bag is from Rare Beauty and I got it in PR and I'm obsessed with it. It's my favorite thing ever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I pack it because it's got so much stuff. It's like huge and it has this little, you know, net right here. It's pretty dirty from like keeping all my makeup in it. But this is like my everyday makeup that I always pack. So I'm going to start and I always do it in order of how I do my makeup. That's how I pack. That way I don't miss anything. Primer, this is what we're using. I always use this Say Beauty. Also, I'm gonna pack this e.l.f. primer. I'm literally almost out, that's really sad. Um, for foundation, I'm packing this because I just self-tanned myself, and so this will match me uh, probably tomorrow. I know it looks crazy compared to my hand right now, but this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 5.5, so that's stunning. For concealer, I'm gonna bring my Hourglass. Actually, lately this has been really creasing on my under eyes and it's my favorite concealer, but maybe I should go and pick out a different one. Let's put this in the x pile. This is like the no pile over here. Okay, so this is my makeup drawer. I keep this in our spare bedroom. That's why all my makeup is like always all scattered. These are all of my concealers back here. I have this YSL concealer that I wanna pack, but I also, I feel like I have other ones. Okay, yeah, I wanna bring this one. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer, which I really like this one. So I'm gonna pack this one. Okay, concealers are in. This is the YSL one. I really like this one, it's really creamy. This one's like a little bit more coverage. So I'm gonna pack the Giorgio Armani one. I am actually out of my Rare Beauty bronzer stick. Please, you guys, please look at how much of this bronzer stick I have left. This is actually so sad, but it's my favorite bronzer of life so i don't even know if i should pack this because i'm only going for three days this will last me three days but this is so upsetting to look at all right so 
bronzer stick there we go we also need a blush i'm gonna pack this one from nude sticks this is in the shade sunkissed i really like this one right now and i'm also gonna pack the usual one that i always use this is the rare beauty compact blush or whatever i normally use this one this is in the shade very berry i know everyone loves their liquid blushes but that's my favorite and then i'm also gonna pack the dior backstage just because i really like this one this is like the one that everyone uses it's in the shade um one pink so I'm gonna pack both of those right there. What's next in my makeup process? Oh, okay, so now I would typically set my under eyes. All of my makeup is like so used up. I'm not even gonna show you this because it's like basically empty. I've really hit pan on this, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade two. I use this little like triangle thing to set my under eyes and I also use this little brush so I'm gonna pack this this is the say beauty I don't know um, I'm gonna link all of this makeup so I'll link the brush down below too cuz I love that little brush it's like the perfect powder brush for like little like crevices I hate that word but <laughs> I just used it anyway so there's powder for my under eyes what else do we have over here oh my god my makeup is literally in bits and pieces. Look at this Laura Mercier powder that I use. The top of it completely fell off. Also, I've hit pan on it. I think this is basically done. Like, I actually think I should throw this away because I'm pretty sure it's five years old, which means it's expired. For bronzer, I'm gonna pack this one. This is this Dior bronzer. What shade is this? This is in the shade Warm Bronze. I really like this one, so we're gonna pack the bronzer. Also, we're gonna pack our Laura Mercier setting powder because I love to use that to bake. This powder Palette. This is my favorite. I use this as eyeshadow a lot, but it's just like an overall really good highlighting palette This is the Dior Backstage uh, Glow Face Palette. This is in the shade 2. I am gonna set that in there All right, what do we have to choose from? Oh my god, I can't forget my brows. This is my Anastasia Brow pomade or brow freeze. I always use that and then I'm gonna grab this concealer This is another Giorgio Armani luminous silk and this is in a different shade. This one's in the shade 5.5 This matches the concealer. I use it like over once I do like my foundation I'll use it to touch up like any blemishes or anything like that for highlighter I'm gonna pack this one this is my favorite highlighter ever it's this Coco Chanel I don't even know what this is called it's a sculpting balm but you guys it is the most stunning dewy highlighter I think I've ever used ever this one is also really good this one's by rare beauty it's in the shade exhilarate and it's really really pretty I like to put this all over my body like on my like decollete or whatever so I'm gonna pack that one too um, for eyeshadow, I'm gonna pack these two eyeshadow sticks. These are from nude sticks. Actually, I'm gonna pack a third one too So I have a brown. I love these eyeshadow sticks. They're from nude sticks So I have these three shades this far left one's like a dark brown and then but it's like metallic And then the middle one is a matte brown and then we've got like a shiny White highlighty one. I just like that one because I don't know like I feel like it looks good um on my brow bone mascara i've been using this one this is the ysl mascara it's in a dark brown like i've been doing only brown mascara lately so i've got a brown mascara and then we've got my anastasia brow pencil okay and then the last things we've got are right, i'm packing this freck this is my favorite for, for like fake little freckles i'm gonna pack a black liquid liner i haven't been doing this like liquid liner lately but i always pack one just in case what else oh and then i want my mario mattes palette this is the metallic one this is the matte one this is my most used travel palette if i can even open it oh my god this thing has been used to no end so uh yeah that's like my everyday this is my everyday eyeshadow palette that i always use so i'm gonna pack this let's put it in here Lastly, I always pack some lip balms in here. I have this one from Kosas, which I really like, and then I have the Charlotte Tilbury lip oil, and then I always pack one road lip balm in there, and then I also have a little eyelash curler, which is my favorite. Oh, the only thing I didn't pack was setting spray. I am out of my setting spray, so I'm packing this one from Too Faced. It's gonna go in there, and then I've got my little beauty blender holder. I'm gonna pack 
my crusty, dusty beauty blender in here. This little Rare Beauty makeup bag fits so much stuff. Also, it has like a little handle over here so you can carry it around, but I have so much room, especially because it like lifts so high. Like I could stack so much more makeup on top of this, but that's everything. Oh, and then the last two things I'm gonna pack in here, I have this Baccarat Rouge and it's like a travel size one. So I, cause I'm putting all of this in my carry-on, so I'm gonna pack that. And then I also have the infamous Amazon light. This thing is so bright. It's my favorite thing ever. Like this thing's insane. And I always use it when I'm like filming TikToks or videos or whatever. So I'm gonna put that in there in case I wanna film while I'm home. All right, makeup is packed. And then I always put my makeup brushes in this little like container thing. You can buy these on Amazon. This is the brand. I think I got it off Nordstrom a couple years ago. And then I have this little custom bag. It's so cute. It's from this girl on Instagram. I'll put her ad on the screen right now, but she makes a bunch of these and I love this little pattern. So the good thing about going home is I have so much skincare and product at home. I don't need to pack a lot. So I just pack a couple of things. This is a little cotton round and I'm packing that so I can put my micellar water on there, take my makeup off. This is a cleansing balm. This is from Nude Sticks. It's their uh, makeup melt, which I'm obsessed with, and it's really good. Packing this Fresh Beauty lip polish because my lips have been needing to be exfoliated like every single night as of recently. And then I'm using this Fresh Beauty like peach lip balm. This is so good. I'm really loving it. My little wrist guards for when I wash my face. Um, I have these two, and then I have the headband going in there. A little toothpaste and a little mini deodorant. Like I said, all my moisturizers, serums, face wash, they're all in Texas at my home, which is always nice. And then I'm just gonna pack my hair stuff. I'm packing a scrunchie. And then, and then I have these three brushes. These are the ones I always bring. I bring a little comb, a smoothing brush, and then my regular hairbrush. And that's it for hair and toiletries. Okay, I pretty much finished up packing and I'm just cleaning up around the house, but I'm taking a break to have a snack. This is like my new favorite little snack plate, uh, snack plate I've been making. I know this looks like a meal because it's a lot of things on here, but I haven't eaten since um, 11.30 this morning and it's 5.30, so like I'm so hungry. And then I'm gonna make dinner later, but this is what I do. I have carrots, I cut up some peppers, and then I have some naan, and then I literally have this random block of cheese, but just don't mind that, it's really good. And then these buffalo pretzels, they're insane. And then I dip everything on this plate, except for the cheese, into this bitchin' sauce. I get the original, it's my favorite, and it's so good. If you've never tried this, and you're a sauce person, you have to try this, it's so incredible. So I dip everything in that, and then I'm having a yerba, and that is gonna be my little lunch slash pre-dinner. I made it to Texas, I'm home. It's Mother's Day and we just came over for some Mother's Day lunch. We're eating five guys. That's our Mother's Day lunch today. Burgers and fries and milkshakes. There's a mother. I had this camera. It's janky, they can, they're gonna hate it. <laughs> She's asking since my other one got stolen, as you guys know. Becca. Ooh, a present for you on Mother's Day? <laughs> Get that out. <laughs> oh yeah, I know what it is. Wow. Wow. Oh, I love that card. That is so cute. What a sweet card. It literally, this is the, this is the card. Knock he does knock knock jokes. jokes. And it actually says happy birthday and he crossed it out and wrote happy That's Mother's a Day. Card, and the little <laughs> Yeah, G the G. <laughs> Okay. Now she's opening her card or her card and her gift from me and my sister. We just picked our, our, our favorite items. I, like I think you'll like. I think you'll like this. Awesome. Good stuff. Give us a haul. Top brush. Uh, Alex Earl. She Alex said she. I needed Alex's brush. She, she wanted the Alex. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh. Just a little like nude this. hand sanitizer. Oh, I don't. I'm out of this. Yeah, do you like that body I wash? Love body wash. I love the it necessaire. So much. Um, let's see. Oh, that's some lip. Okay, Alex yeah. Earl Alex uses Earl that. uses this. We, we. I didn't know that. I, I wasn't paying close enough attention to her. <laughs> And a new one she uses with me. She uses that. both of those, the lip combo. Okay. So we got you Alex's love lip Alex, combo. So I would love that. <laughs> She's gonna look and just I got like a her. Nude beauty blender. A new one. All match. Okay. 
Okay, that's a new oh, concealer. I need a new concealer. I, mine is like really, really old and crusty. Everyone uses. Well, that one's concealer. like a good one. It's the closest oh, one. Okay. And if it's not the right one, I feel like that'd be good. No, it is. Yeah. Wow, y'all. This is too much stuff. She got lots of good stuff. I was pretty jealous. That's my contour stick that you used in. I don't have contour stick. <laughs> California. Guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> She's gonna go haul it out. I really am because I don't have one. I know it's like all new good makeup. Like, thank y'all. That's the brush oh, end. Like yeah. Brush. Yes. I don't think I used your brush part. You didn't I? use the brush part. Mm -hmm. but yeah. So excited. I have no contour stick. Though. Now you do. Now I do. One more thing. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is kind of random, but you don't like you like it's you don't have makeup wipes. But you spray that on your face when you have makeup on, and then okay. you just wash it off in water, and it melts all your or makeup like off. Yeah, it will melt your makeup Perfect. off. I love it all, y'all. <laughs> what a great. Hi guys, I'm back from Texas, and I have just unpacked and gotten ready for the week, and I wanted to come on here and end this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I did so much stuff in this vlog as I was editing it. I was like, wow, I had spring day and I went home and I went to Disney and I hope that you guys liked it don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you guys want to stay up to date with what I'm doing and follow me on TikTok because I'm posting tons of content over there I am gonna go get this camera fixed or find a new one to use in the meantime since I know it's a little rough to watch but anyway I hope that you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye